Hello, my name's Caroline, also known as Car Knight. This is the second part of the Shadow Catcher video. In the previous video I created a scene of bears in my garden, using the Shadow Catcher brick on a primitive plane. However, the shadows are much too dark. If we look at my final picture, I've made the shadows so that they fit in much better with the scene. So in this video, I'll show you how to make a strength slider using a mix brick. This is the shader that I set up in the previous video with the shadow catcher brick going into the opacity color, just a very simple shader. Now I'll disconnect the shadow catcher from the opacity and create a mix brick. Right click insert bricks functions math mix. The mix brick has an alpha value, a base value and a layer value. Let's change these to be colors. If I change the base to be red and the layer to be blue and put the output into the diffuse color, depending on what's in the alpha value, either the base or the layer or a combination of both will be used. If the alpha is zero, then the base will be used and if the alpha is 1, then the layer will be used. Let's apply this to the surface and do a spot render and the red is coming from the base color. If I change the alpha to be 1 and apply and spot render, then the blue is coming completely from the layer. If I make the alpha 0.5 and apply and spot render. This color is made up half from the base and half from the layer. It's actually a color value of 122.0.122. So I'm going to use this alpha value for the strength slider. Instead of red, I'm going to plug in the shadow catcher into the base. So instead of having a diffuse color in this base, it's going to use the shadow catcher map. I'll put black in the layer and that means that when I have an alpha of zero the full value of the output will come from the shadow catcher. If I have an alpha of one the full value will come from the black layer and remember that black is transparent and values in between will take some of both. Let's disconnect from the diffuse and plug this back into the opacity color. Apply this to the plane and render. And there's the full strength of the shadows. Now that I've applied this surface to the plane, I can go to the surface tab and at the bottom of the surface tab I have the alpha slider available to me. So I'll change this to be 0.8 and render. And the shadow is a lot more transparent because 0.8 of the value is coming from the black layer and black is transparent. You could save this as a preset but when you come to reload it, the word alpha may be confusing. So we can actually change this by double clicking on it and we get a dialog box where I can change this to be shadow strength. And the minimum and maximum values are currently set to whatever this means. So I can set the minimum to be zero and the maximum to be one. Respect limits, yes, which means that we can't go outside of those values and accept and now instead of having alpha down here, I have shadow strength. And my minimum value is zero and the maximum is one. This black color never needs to be changed. So I can double click the word layer and say that it's hidden. Accept and click away from it and choose the surface again. And now the black layer option has gone, it's hidden. So just looking at the Shader Mixer tab again, to create this strength slider, I created a mix brick 
and put it between the shadow catcher and the material brick. I'll set the shadow strength to be 0.6 and render. And there's my final picture. I wonder what I'll find in my garden tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.